We'll now look at a couple of situations that will show why convex sets are attractive in the context of optimization. The first is the following. Let S be a convex set in Rn. Let C be an element of Rn. Consider the optimization problem minimizing C transpose X subject to X being an element of S. Now suppose that there is an element of S X star such that for some epsilon greater than 0, C transpose X star is less than or equal to C transpose X prime for all X prime in S, satisfying this inequality. This inequality says the norm of the difference between X prime and X star is less than epsilon. Here, the norm signifies the two norm. What that means is if Y is in Rn, then the norm of Y is given by the square root of Y transpose Y. What this is saying is that x star has the best possible objective function value in a neighborhood that is defined by epsilon. Or in optimization terminology, x star is known as a local optimum of this optimization problem. The conclusion is that x star is in fact a global optimum of this optimization problem. And we are going to see a proof of this. First, let v denote the objective function value of x star. And suppose that there is an element u in S such that u has objective function value less than v. Now consider z given by 1 minus lambda times x star plus lambda times u, where lambda is between 0 and 1. Now we are going to choose lambda so small that z minus x star has norm less than epsilon. Clearly this is possible. Because as lambda approaches 0, z approaches x star. Because s is convex, z must be also in s. And what this means is that z satisfies this condition, and so z must have objective function value at least v. Or equivalently, c transpose 1 minus lambda x star plus c transpose lambda u is at least v. But the left hand side here can be rewritten as 1 minus lambda times c transpose x star plus lambda c transpose u. However, we know that c transpose u is less than v and c transpose x star is exactly v. So 1 minus lambda v plus lambda v is strictly greater than v here. But this is equal to v, and so we have v greater than v, which is impossible. So what this is saying is that there's no such u, and so x star is an optimal solution to the optimization problem. The second thing that we're going to look at is the following. Let s be a subset of Rn. This time, s is not necessarily convex. Let c be an element of Rn. Suppose that the optimization problem minimizing C transpose X subject to X being an element of S has an optimal solution. Then the optimization problem minimizing C transpose X subject to X being an element of the convex half of S also has an optimal solution. And the optimal value of this problem is precisely the optimal value of this problem. The proof of this fact is not difficult and the details are left as an exercise. But the significance here is that when S is a finite set, the convex half of S, which we will later see, can be described as a set of solutions of a finite set of linear inequalities. And what that means is this will become a linear programming problem. In many combinatorial optimization problems, it is possible to formulate the solutions as points in Rn, and very often there are only a finite number of them. And so with this result, we can end up solving the combinatorial optimization problem by solving a linear programming problem.